You've probably heard of AI agents right now, uh, probably um, Autogen and True AI, which actually do powerful AI agent autonomous tasks with big applications. If you're not certain what they are, I will do a video on this later and show you a live application on this. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at Multi-On. Now, Multi-On is a personal AI agent. It's Microsoft Copilot AI agent that works with Microsoft 365. It's similar to that and then it takes control of your computer and does various activities for you in the background. So what this one does is it actually takes control of your browser and it does all the internet activities for you so you don't need to. And that's going to save you a lot of time and increase your productivity. Let me show you a demo on what it can actually do for you. Then I will show you how to actually use this. So let's get right to okay. it. All right. So the first one, I'm going to just, I'm going to put something out there, J-Cal. This is going to be an A+. plus. I'm going to predict it to be an A+. You're plus. predicting an A+. Plus. Okay. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to predict it to be an A+. Plus. All right. So great set of founders uh, come with an incredible background. The company is called Multion. And so- Multion.ai. Yeah. And the way it works is it's a Chrome extension. It's pretty invasive because you have to give it full control of your browser, but it's super powerful. And so okay. what I'm able to do, I'm going to start here and say, book a meeting uh, tomorrow with Jason at 2 p.m. And what you're okay. going to see it do, it's going to kick off and uh, oh. you know, it, it, it can read it to you. And it's good. It's, oh. it's been <laughs> but like, yes. Holy <laughs> cow. For people who are not watching, the yes. Chrome extension has taken over the browser. Yeah. The yeah. inmates have taken over the asylum and yeah. it's popped up. Uh, yeah. essentially a yeah. co-pilot opened up Google yeah. Calendar. It knows how to yeah. click on Google Calendar and I've given yeah. up control of my browser and it's set up the meeting. Oh my Lord. Yes. That was yeah. incredible. And that's not all it can do. Um, this thing's okay. going to be dangerous. Uh-oh. Yeah. Is, is it about okay. to trade crypto on your account? Uh, I mean- <laughs> Say buy some Bitcoin. Yeah. Well, let's no, see I'm what not, it does. I, I'm not doing that. Why not? <laughs> but, uh, what are you scared? <laughs> Let's go. Tell it to buy some Bitcoin. Let's so, see your Coinbase balance. Uh, is it, you, you, <laughs> you could do, uh, you know, write a tweet about uh, this. We uh, or about multi. How about we just do this about multi on, right? Okay. Write a tweet about okay. multi on. Oh, no. Okay. Yes. This Watch could get dangerous. Go. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. And this is where reg. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> wow. So there's two ways to sign up to Multion right now, and that is the wrong way, which is through the browser. Now the problem with signing up with the browser is that at this time, when you log in and go to the dashboard, you'll find that it's not active yet. But I'm gonna show you the workaround for this. There is a Chrome extension that you need to add, and then you'll be able to use Multion. So let me show you step by step what to do. Just below in the description, I'm going to add two links that you can use. One from the Multi-On guide and also one from Landchain Multi-On as well. And for both of these, there's a link that will direct you to the Multi-On Chrome extension so that you can install it and sign up. The first step is click on that link and you will be directed to the Chrome extension for Multion. You can use this Chrome extension in any browser and it's very easy to sign up for. Uh, all you need to do is to put, put in your login details and sign up and then you'll be then directed to the main dashboard of Multion. So when you get onto the Multion dashboard, you'll be given some examples below that you can use straight away. And these will automate things such as booking a meeting or ordering dinner ingredients or calling, a, or calling an Uber. 
But what I want Multion to do is to go to Twitter and look for a post on the topic AI and then find a post in the feed and add a comment. That was great. Keep posting this content. It helps so much. So I'm going to get Multion to do this for me. So let's get ready for some automation magic. So it opens up my Twitter page and it starts its AI automation process. Okay, now it's performing the task. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's looking through the post that I'm going to Twitter to search for. I'm using the search feature. I'm scrolling Twitter. down the Twitter search results to find a post on the topic of AI to comment on as per the user's request. Why? It's voice. I am adding the user's specified comment to a relevant post on AI. There we go, it's found the post. Let's see, okay, look, it's highlighted all the information. And now it knows that that's a post on AI. I'm correcting my previous mistake by clicking on the tweet to open the detailed view. Okay. Typing the user's specified comment into the correct input area. That's amazing. And then clicking the button to post the comment. Okay. Really? It's... So isn't that amazing? So let's take a look. I'm attempting to add the user's specified comment to the selected post on AI by clicking on the reply button. Typing the comment into the input field and then clicking the reply button again to post the comment. Isn't that impressive? And that is only one thing of what it can do for you. So it can actually read all uh, all the information on the browser. It can interact with it. What do you think about this? Would you actually use this? And if you've got any ideas in what you want to see in the next video, then let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you watching these videos. It helps my channel to grow. So just keep watching and learning AI and I'm sure it will really help you